So in brick beating news. Oh no. What beating? Brick. Oh no. Oh. I got brick beat before. Is this what I think it is? Yeah, this one's sad. It yeah. pissed me off. Submitted by Corn Eyed Sewer Trout. Interesting. Oh wait, that happened again. Corn Eyed Sewer Trout. Oh, it did. Yeah. Who is yeah, that? Who is that? What is is that, that one of those things when you say really fast, Corn Eyed Sewer Trout? That's what we thought no. last time too, but we couldn't find anything. It was part of a article. Was it? No, it was no, a submitter. It was a submitter. Oh, was it? All right, leave it in the comments below. What the fuck is a Corn Eyed right. Sewer Trout? I said, oh, it's one of. Literally, what he said is what I said last. It's probably some sh sex position oh, like or some alpha shit. Kenny Maybe I could just yeah. Google it. Yeah, fucking tell me, corn eyed sewer trout. It's probably a real fish. Oh, you know what it is? It's fucking dookie. Is it? It's shit. Corn eyed brown sewer trout. It's dookie. Uh, long piece of doo doo. See? Corn in it. Yeah. Oh. But it's called brown trout. Is that like I don't know a redneck term? Corn eyed sewer trout. Sounds like it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so a 91 year old man was beaten with a brick while going for a walk on the 4th of July. What? Yo, what bricks are brick? heavy as fuck. Why? Dude. For what reason? For no fucking reason. Was it a crazy homeless LA man? No, it was a African American woman. A black oh, woman? Fuck? Yeah. That's not real. Wait, why'd she do it though? Cause she said, fuck the July, bitch. <laughs> okay, well it's not for no reason. Okay, so this is- It's not for independence. She better day. not have said like, go back to your country type of shit cause she's she black. She did. She said, go back to Mexico. <gasps> A black woman? Oh man. That makes no sense at all. I know. Is she crazy? <laughs> Obviously she's Obviously. Crazy. Okay, so this story here, it takes place. Do you guys know where Willowbrook is? No, where is it? Right by Compton. Yeah, it's near oh. Compton, near Linwood. Um, so here in LA. This sounds like a really nice place. It's not. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> if it's by Compton and Linwood, then no. <laughs> Rodolfo Rodriguez, 91 years old. He was taking his afternoon walk after, you know, he ate. And so he was walking around the neighborhood as he always does every day. Walking um, off his elote. Yeah. All of a sudden, he came across this black woman with her four-year-old, or we believe she's four years old, this little girl. And Very so, unsuspecting. Yeah, and so like apparently this woman says, like she was saying, that he bumped into the little girl. Rodolfo bumped into the little girl, but he says he didn't. And then so I don't know exactly what happened. The point is, she all of a sudden just starts beating his ass. A brick somehow gets involved in this beating. Damn. She calls out to these four other men that were nearby and she's telling them, hey, he's trying to kidnap my little girl. Or like, oh, that's oh. fucked up. Like he's trying to do something to my little girl. So then these four dudes come over and start beating his ass too. A 90 something year old? Come on. I know, he's about to turn 92 in September. People can't tell he's fucking 91, he can't move. That's when this witness, she saw all this go down from her car and then so she started recording. God. But then when she tried to intervene, this black lady ends up throwing the brick at her. So then she's like, what the fuck? So there's, I'm gonna show you a video clip of when this woman- There's a video clip? Oh so, God. warning, he's really bloody. That sucks. Oh my God. She doesn't know how to record. She's saying that they live in that apartment. She that they went around the corner. That's sucks. Again. What what happened? Danny looks good for 91 though. He does. Yeah, what could a 91 year old look like that? He's Apparently, fine. this was the woman that was Damn, she's big. involved. And then this little girl. So she was beating this man in front of this little girl. Like She looked like a linebacker. What the fuck? She looks very strong. She looks very moist. Yo, where did she fucking so how that brick looks though, dude. Oh my god. Dude, he's 91. That's gonna take him three years to heal. Cause they got poor circulation. They do. Where the fuck did she find that brick toe? Yeah. Did she just wedge it out of the wall? Like, it was nearby. everything's broken over there. Why are his arms open like Jesus Christ so and shit? What the fuck? GoFundMe for Adolfo, which they've clearly very much surpassed. Oh, Holy crazy. shit, $144,000? Damn. Medical expenses, dude. The hospital bills are expensive, man. Yeah. Dang. I, I wish I, like, saw the whole thing go down, you know? Like, what the hell? There's yeah, just that, a lot. That clip was what was posted to Facebook. I wasn't able to find the clip of where they saw this woman, but I don't know. But yeah, this just went viral because. He was just going for a walk? Yeah, he was just going for a walk. In the ghetto? I mean, he. Well, he probably lives there. No, he was actually visiting his family from Mexico, but he visits twice a year, so like he, he's familiar with that his place. His family shouldn't let him walk around. Damn, that's pretty crazy because I can kind of see it where, like, if this lady is kind of nuts and in her mind, she sees it as this dude is a threat 
to her baby, then it's like her mommy, her mommy defense system comes in. Like I gotta kill this motherfucker. <clears throat> He's an old man. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It's like once that fucking I gotta protect kicks in, I think the fucking life or death comes in, you know? Yeah, but it had to be tied in with some crazy. Yeah, 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 some, yeah. that's what At I mean. some point before the brick happens, you realize you won. Yeah. If you're, if you're a saint, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And before you call in four other people. Yeah, know? exactly. That's what I mean by in their Does world, get, like in that crazy's world, they're justifying it. Like they gotta protect, you know, at, at five fucking whatever means, like gotta protect the baby. Did she get uh, caught? As of right now, they are still looking for this woman and those three to four other suspects. But no one's gonna rat in the hood, though. Mm -mm. The woman who posted this video, they're saying that they kind of have an idea who they are, but that they just want the police to find them. See, because they're not gonna rat. They're not gonna rat. Yeah, so apparently the grandpa, he suffered a broken jaw, broken cheekbones, broken two broken ribs, and oh. bruises all over his face, back, and abdomen. That he spent five or six hours in the hospital. Now he's recovering. He says that he's in a lot of pain. Fuck yeah! Holy that shit! That he can't walk anymore. Oh. oh At least not for now. But yeah. That's one of those like, how the fuck can you see that coming? You know, you're just walking around, yeah. and, and then you get accused of some shit, and then you get jumped. For nothing. I don't know. If I was 91, I think I would just walk around with a fucking rifle for no reason. <laughs> Even though it's illegal. Well, I'll just have a cane. With a fucking sword in it or something. Yeah, like a gun cane. Nah, man, I can't even swing anything anymore. My swing's gonna be like this. He is probably healthier than you think, though, if he withstood that beating and didn't die. Yeah. yeah. Well, a lot of people are saying that it's like a miracle he. He didn't die on the spot. Yeah. Damn. He's got that strong Mexican farmer gene. Well, yeah, he did say that, like, you know, he's never done anything wrong to anyone, even like in the fields or something. Like, he, I don't know, I forgot what the context was, but yeah. When you he, said that. He was a farmer? Because a lot of, I feel like a lot of uh, farmers get, they stay strong till an old age if they're like, working outside and shit. They're just like, moving so much. Oh, here it is. Yeah. In a life working in the fields with cattle and corn. That's where I read that. Yeah, they stay strong. And he's never been hurt like this before. Damn. I saw my grandma fall down once and she had a bruise for the whole year. For real? Yep. Just from one fall down? Yeah, yep. that's why they're saying that like falling off the bed and elderly breaking their hips and stuff, that's like the worst Thing that can happen to them because it's really hard for them to recover from that. Mm -hmm. I saw my grandpa fall too, but I thought it was really funny. Me too. My Me too. Ass beat. I was a kid and I'm just playing in the hallway of the house and I just hear, Aah! and I walk over there <laughs> and my grandma, she was cooking, she slipped somehow. So she fell down, she's on her ass, but she's holding the two like kitchen utensils like this. <laughs> I started dying of laughter. <laughs> Instead of helping her? I don't know, it just looked fucking hilarious. Like she had an apron on and she's like this. <laughs> and then my mom comes and starts beating the fuck out of me. Your mom didn't that. pick her up either? I, know. I guess not. I guess. Everything her comes before that. I am first. <laughs> and my grandma's just there looking. Like, I didn't laugh because my grandpa fell. I laughed because my grandpa was such an asshole about it. Like he was so defiant. Cause like in Sacramento it gets cold in the winter. Mm -hmm. And so out, outside we got this like wooden deck thing. And I told that dude not to go out. Tell him straight up, don't go out, don't go out, don't go out. He's like calling me stupid and dumb. And I was like, all right, go out there. <laughs> so I just see through the screen door. I can't hear anything because it's a closed screen door. He's walking out there and you see him go, <laughs> boom. And I just go, <laughs> and I'm dying laughing. He's like, oh, <laughs> that's what you get, you fucker. All right, I come back inside the house. Was he okay? Of course he was fine. He just had a long bruise. He had a bruise on his butt for a bit. He's okay. He didn't break anything. It's a long time. Yeah. He lived up to 98. Damn. 98. Two years from 100, dude. Oh, man. And he died on purpose, too. I know he did. Why? We had to put him into a home at that point because he was just too old and we couldn't give him the care that he needed. And he was like, all right, then. I'll kill myself. He just died. He died the next day. Damn. Yeah, he's like, Shit. no, I ain't. And he said, bah! He died. I was like, damn, dude. That's tight. He died like this, choking himself out. Oh god. He died like this. <laughs> the motherfucker said, fuck up, fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> West side, motherfucker. <laughs> he has a one side and a middle finger like this. He said, poor my grandson, piece of shit. <laughs> that dude was such an asshole. I love him, dude. 
Uh, rest in peace, Grandpa. You piece of shit. I love you. Man, I can't wait till I get that delusional. You're, You're already pretty. there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> wait no further. Yet. Nah, I'm not there yet. I gotta be in it. You know what I mean? Like, I gotta fucking wake up one day and there's a purple giraffe <laughs> in my bed chilling, so. and then there's a fucking happy mushroom that's fucking dancing and saying, "Hi, Grandpa Joe." <laughs> that's when I know. I made it. That's the dimension I'm trying to get into, man. I'm trying to get into that DMT level, but in reality. Have you tried DMT? Nope, because it scares the fuck out of me. <laughs>